Suyash Kamat, the producer, director of today's film. Yeah. Uh, written in the corners. Yes. So, uh, Suyash, you're, you're a master's student at uh, Satyajit Ray Film Institute. Yeah. In Calcutta. Yeah, yeah. And uh, tell us about today's uh, film and your second film also. Yeah. So today's film, I think, belongs to you, Frederick. Not at, not, at all, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's more. It's. It's. I don't know if I want to call it a film per se. It's more just. I made it out of an act of remembering. And I think uh, I didn't want to, I don't want to burden films or documentaries with being custodians of, uh, you know, facts or history or, you know, those kind of things. It's just, I want to remember this and I want to show it. And I think that acts as a great form of archival as well. So that's what my film is about or the act is about. I don't yeah. want to call it a film. Maybe it's an act. Yeah. And my second film is called Sadabhar. It was part of a... Basically, a grant that was instituted by Netflix India and Film Companion. So, all over the world, they have done a grant for some creative equity or something they call it. So, in India, they did this uh, for a short film that they wanted to produce for 10 minutes. So, there were about 1,500 participants, wow. and 10 of them were shortlisted I all see. over India. Wow. So, and there were two go ones so I see. Barkha Nayak and me. Intense and competition. Yeah, yeah, it was over a period of four months that the shortlisting happened. So, we had I to see. go through multiple rounds and selections writing the scripts, giving them approvals and then finally the film happened and then uh, it's out now, it's about... Where was it shot? It was shot in Goa entirely, my village, yeah. in Marcel majorly. Marcel. Yeah, in Marcel and parts of it in Miramar and somewhere. Seaside. Seaside. Anjuna? No, no. Seasides were shot in uh, Siridao, around Siridao. One part is about Siridao beach and one part... Because the seaside was an interesting shooting experience because I never realized I have to take waves into consideration when I'm shooting. So, the shooting window I had was between low tide and high tide. So, you have okay. to plan for okay. these also. So, the whole film was shot, the beach scene was shot as the tides were progressing, I was shooting behind, yeah. behind, behind. Yeah. So, at I one see. point, our camera was submerged in the water halfway. I see. It was I quite see. a fun experience. I like that shot of the clothes on the rocks. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite also. But it's, it's, it's I, I hope it's not a misleading shot because some of them think uh, the people want to kill themselves. But I, I think see. No, 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 no. I didn't think. I didn't think. Leaving behind the identity. Identity for a second, you know, just to enjoy Okay, life. okay, 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 okay. I didn't get that. But yeah, uh, yeah. I thought it was, you know, it was very colorful because those yeah. costumes were hired. They are normally used by the brass bands. Yeah, those were hired. Uh, we had to hire them from a band because uh, the instruments also had to be rented from a band. And uh, I shot, I recorded the music originally. All of those are original compositions. I see. The Konkani song that plays, we've written, composed it ourselves. I see. And then we got the brass band, uh, The these musicians are the same guys who played in Natsuya Kompasar. So we got some of them okay. to play the music. Composer was my friend who had come from outside and we recorded it together. So it was a mix of uh, western uh, uh, brass musicians and Indian percussion from an Indian band. I see. And together we made the tonality of the music basically. Very interesting. What do you see as the challenging challenges for filmmaking in Goa today? Um, which first, is just growing and still young and getting noticed. First and foremost, funding is a big challenge. Funding uh, funding resources that are both uh, for commercially viable projects as well as for projects that are not really commercially viable but that hold uh, important value in terms of its uh, content and in terms of its archival history and in terms of expression, you know. So when it's nascent, I think more forms should be allowed to be explored before we compartmentalize things and make them regulated. And secondly, I think there's a lot of dispersion of talent all over, which needs to come together. I see. Um, like when I was making my film also, I had to bring people, a lot of first-timers who were just interested in making films, but they never had the opportunity. You know, I had a lot of first-timers come on. There are beautiful actors in the theatre circuit who are not explored. So I think, I believe a lack of a common platform, like this film, with the screenings we are doing here, Goa and yeah. film. It's such a great way to bring people together about films, about Goa, and mm. it can lead to such an interesting exchange, right? So, I think we need more viewing centers, more viewing culture, and then uh, like a making culture as well. What are the topics that are waiting to be touched on in your view? What would you recommend young filmmakers, new people to look at? I think we need to look at more uh, personal things, you know, like uh, personal, because I think the personal is political in many sense, and... Uh, uh, usually we have preconditions as to what films should be or art should be about but I think the more they are individualistically explored I think the more there's potency in it like what you care about and what are your concerns and then seeing those from a standpoint or seeing from them as an objective standpoint you know uh, I think those kind of things because there are so many things that concern us like uh, uh, 
the erosion of culture and everything is becoming similar what is happening what is worth remembering what is worth being told what is worth being reminded of i think these things are very important to be asked many people talk about the financing of filmmaking in goa it will probably never be viable for most yeah. what is your advice to that on that i would say um, we need to find sustainable means of making films and that comes from a sense of probably a community filmmaking we have had examples in the past from other states where filmmaking culture has grown out of nowhere like uh, you see assam right now assam is doing great in terms of cinema there are a lot of films coming out of there i see um kerala of course has been making films for decades and you know they have a certain very strong regional so i think we need to look at examples we're going to need to look at foreign funding probably because a lot of film festivals are uh, fund films as well but it's another route of you know making films so i think we need to explore avenues as to uh, what can maybe it's a community act you know mm. we need to figure out ways i think i don't know what would be the most viable way but maybe crowd funding or something be believing in the potency of your idea and then Uh, setting forth very interesting thank you thank yeah, you so much yeah. thanks so much all the yeah, very yeah. best really nice to know you and uh, know your work thanks, thanks.